Hi there. Welcome to the next in this series of places of prayer. And here today I'm on the banks of the beautiful River Tweed, quite near the village of Maxton uh, in Roxburghshire. And uh, the reason I'm here is because the flat piece of ground just over my shoulder here, just beside the river, uh, is known as the Hoch. And traditionally, it's where St. Boisel, who was the prior of Melrose Abbey, just a bit further up the river where we've done the previous um, place of prayer where we've looked at him being the mentor and the, uh, the, the, the one who trained St. Cuthbert uh, in, in the ways of the Lord. Uh, St. Boisel actually came and traditionally founded another community here on the Hoch beside the River Tweed. However, one of the problems was that it was liable to flood. You can see how, uh, how flat it is and if the river goes up, then it, it would come over. And so actually, the tradition has it that he moved his community from here up onto the hill behind me, where you can see here. And we're going to go and have a look at the place where, again, tradition has it that he founded uh, a, a community. But you can see actually from this um, well behind me, which is called the Crystal Well, just beside St Cuthbert's Way with the long distance footpath, the well shows that there are many springs coming out of this hill coming out of this land. Springs were an important part of the um, uh, of medieval, of, of early medieval life because there was, water was so important. And this was a place of springs. Not only that, but this water uh, traditionally bore minerals, which meant that when people drank the water, there were some healing properties in it. And so Boisel particularly would have used some of the waters around this area for healing. <clears throat> and maybe in a further video, we'll look at another well that was particularly attached to the name of Boisel and the healing ministry that he had. But uh, I'm going to uh, leave this spot here, this beautiful spot here by the River Tweed just now, and we're going to go up onto the hill to have a look at where he actually founded another community. So you can see as I'm climbing up to Ben Rig, I'm using this stairway uh, called Jacob's Ladder which is actually part of St Cuthbert's Way long distance footpath, but it's a convenient access from down at the Hoch going up to Benrig, where we're going to look at the remains of St Boswell's Church. So here I am now in the ruins of what was the original St Boswell's Church or chapel, part of his community, where he, when he moved his community up from the Hoch down below, he established it here on Benrig Hill. This today is Benrick Cemetery around what was the Church of St Boswell's, although Boswell called it Lesseden, uh, Les Eden, the place of Aden. He didn't want to call it after himself, it was later called St Boswell's, but actually the church here was a long way from where the people were. Benrick here is probably about a mile away from St Boswell's village, and so the people were settled there, and rather than walk here to church every week, in the 19th century they moved the church to be in St Boswell's and this gradually fell into ruin. But this is the site where Boswell's community was established on top of this hill away from the river flood and with springs in the side of the hill where much of his ministry would have been conducted to the areas around. It's only two miles downstream of the Tweed from Old Melrose so it was a very accessible place for Bos Boswell to get to and his community and still have connection with the Old Melrose uh, monastery just a little way up river. So this is a lovely peaceful place to be to remember this man of God who trained Cuthbert, who had a prophetic gifting upon him, who also was able to interpret the scriptures even in the last week of his life as he shared with Cuthbert from the Gospel of John as they studied together the Gospel of John. And uh, it's good to be here. It's a peaceful quiet place to meditate, to study and to pray. So, Father, I just thank you for the tranquility of this place and also for the memory of St. Boisel and the man he trained St. Cuthbert, of those who came here with him to take the good news of Jesus to this area, to worship you here, to use this as a hub, to use as a place of community. I just thank you, Lord, for the ability to be able to come here still. Would you anoint us with the same Holy Spirit, the same prophetic spirit that anointed Boisel, that anointed Cuthbert, that we can continue their work and the work of Jesus, their King. Amen.